once you have all four of the sides, if you go to menu, measurements, and then length, you click on here, you get 9.34. Click on here, 9.34 units. Click on here, 9.34 units. Click on here, 9.34 units. So all you have to do when you're trying to measure using your calculator is click on one of the segments and you'll get your measurement every single time. So For number two, the four sides are PL, LA, AY, and PY. So those are the four sides, and what can we say about all four sides? about the lengths of all four sides. Yeah. So when we get into the whole analysis part of this, we want to take a look at that and say, all right, well, all four of them are equal. Now it says find the slopes of the four sides. Again, your calculator can do this for you. Go to menu, measurement, and slope. You click on the side, then you place it over here. I got a 1.6. Over here, point six two five. Over here is 1.6. And over there is 0 0.625. So I was able to calculate all of this. I'm going to label these so it's easier to see. And in order to do that, all you have to do is hit a control menu. Well, that's not it. Hit menu actions. All right, I'm not exactly sure where to put it. So now we have all of the uh, all the slopes. So for PL, LA, AY, and PY. So what's the slope of PL? 
Now, what was the slope of LA? Point six two five. What about AY? One point six. And PY? Point six two five. All right, so we have our slopes. Now, we need to name the two diagonals. And find their lengths and slopes. So let's go back into and we're going to do the midpoints. We're going to do all three of them at all three we're going to do D and E at the same time. So let's go back to our picture. Now the diagonals are going to be the segments that we can draw on the interior of the polygon. So we're going to draw segments. So in order to draw a segment, you're going to go to menu. You guys are probably going to go to geometry, but if you don't, um, go to points and lines if, it, if you have that. But you might have to go to menu, geometry, points and lines. You're going to draw a segment. And then you just click on the endpoints. Like, for example, LY is one of them. And then PA is one of them. And those are going to be those are your diagonals. Now we want to find lengths and slopes. So in order to find a length, we're going to do a measurement. So you might have to go into geometry to find it. But measurement length is what we're going to use. There's the length of PL. I'm going to put that over here. 18.4. Our PA is 18.4. And for LY, I'm going to put that over here, is 4.24. Just because we're kind of running out of room here. Now, I'll hit escape to get out of measurement so I can actually kind of move things around a little bit. All right. Now we need to calculate slope. So I need to go back to measurement, go back to slope. And the slope of this one, the long one, PA is 1. The slope of this guy is negative 1. So the nice thing is, whenever you're doing one of these measurements, all you have to do is, after you draw the shape, is go into the measurement category, which is probably under geometry. And you just pick what you need to find. an interesting noise. All 
All right, so as you do that, we figured out for each diagonal, we figured out the length, we figured out the slope. Now, as far as slopes go, here's what you want to ask yourself. Are they equal? Is 1 equal to negative 1? No. And what that tells us is they're not parallel. Because if they are equal, they are parallel. Now, if you multiply them, if we multiply them, do they equal negative 1? Well, I have one slope that's 1, one that's negative 1. What's negative 1 times 1? Negative 1. So this tells me that they're perpendicular. If they're perpendicular, their slopes, that when you multiply them, are negative 1. Now we got to find the coordinates of the midpoints. So let's go back to this. And I need midpoints of the two diagonals. So for menu, midpoints are under construction. So go under construction. Like I said, you probably have to do go into the geometry tab, go under construction, go to midpoint. If we go up to here, it says just click on the segment that we want a midpoint for. So this is for segment PA. Click on that. I get my midpoint right there. For segment LY, I got my midpoint right there. Just based off the picture, what does it look like? The, if I wanted to say something about the two midpoints together, what would I say? Are they the same? Are they the diff are they different spots or same spot? Both midpoints ended up looking like they're in the same spot. Now, in order to figure out what the coordinates of the midpoint are, if you hit Menu, Action, and then you can go down here to Coordinates and Equations. You can figure out coordinates and equations of any segment, any line, any point, anything at all. So if I hit that, and I want this point, I just take my arrow, point at the point, and I'm going to put that over here. And I got my midpoint to be 9.5 comma 8.5. So in the calculator, once you put everything in there, you can actually calculate all the lengths of the segments. You can calculate all of every. You can calculate everything that you need to calculate. And when I give you, like in a couple days or so, when I give everybody a different shape, and you're going to have to calculate everything and do all of this type of stuff with it and try to figure out what shape it is. Uh, 
you can use your calculator because I'm more concerned about whether or not you can figure out from the characteristics what the shape is as opposed to the distance formula and things like that. You've already learned how to use the distance formula. If you want to use that instead of using the calculator, go right ahead. If you want to use the slope formula instead of the calculator, go right ahead. It's okay. But we can use these calculators to get this information and then we can go back to analyzing what we know. So we calculated all this information. Now let's go back to this. And here's what we need to figure out. The here basically it says using the information, what do you know about this? questions that you're going to ask. Are all the sides congruent or just the opposite sides congruent? Um, are opposite sides parallel, which means they have the same slope? or uh, not end point but midpoint do diagonals have the same midpoint are the diagonals perpendicular now in this case what can we say about all the sides All the sides are congruent, so we could say yes to this, yes, opposite sides are congruent, all sides are congruent, we could say yes to this. Now, are opposite sides parallel? PL and AY are opposite sides. Do they have the same slope? Slope 1.6 and 1.6. If they have the same slope, what do we know? Same slope means they're parallel. Here, same slope means they're parallel. So I can say yes to this. Diagonals, do they, was there only one midpoint for both, for both diagonals? It was the same point. Were the diagonals perpendicular? Yeah, up here we uh, we multiplied the slopes of the diagonals and we got a negative one. So diagonals are perpendicular. And one last thing that you want to ask about diagonals. Are the diagonals congruent? Here are the lengths of the diagonals, 4.24 and 18.4. No. Now, based on what we did last week, do we know a shape where all sides are congruent? Diagonals are perpendicular, but the diagonals are not equal. A rhombus. So, we can make the conclusion that quadrilateral play, PLAY, is a rhombus. Now, what I want
want you to do, and I know I, if you're done already with the worksheet, that's great, but I want you to practice kind of using the, the Inspire to kind of build these shapes and have this all done. On your way out, you're going to hand in the packet. And we'll be done with this. We'll go over it a little bit more tomorrow. But I wanted you to see that you could actually do all this in the calculator. Instead of doing it all by hand, which is a good skill that you need to have because sometimes you don't have a calculator you can use. And not all the time will you have this type of a calculator that you could actually draw it all in the calculator and get all the answers. Um, but I wanted you to see how to kind of do this. But also, these are the questions you got to ask yourself when you're, are, are opposite sides congruent? Are they parallel? Are the diagonals congruent? Are they not congruent? Are the midpoints the same? Are they perpendicular? Those types of things. Uh, because those are the characteristics that we have for the shapes. So you're trying to figure out which shape it is. So you're trying to fit all those characteristics into those shapes.